Popping everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we got a good one. We got one in the mail, just came in. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it and see what this bad boy's all about because I think I might know what this might be. It's gonna be a new release from the House of Barrett. So let's go ahead and get right into this beast. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. Now, the first thing is first. If you're new to this channel and you like this content, go ahead and make sure you smash that like button, subscribe button, and that bell notification so you get notified every time I've got great content coming out. So, we've got right here from the House of Barrett, brand new release. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna know what this is because he's got quite a few new releases um, that I put my order in. This is one of them. So let's go ahead and jump right into the unboxing and see what this bad boy is all about. Because if I think what it is, yeah, it's gonna be a good one. So, okay. So he's got his, if you guys know, um, before he went ahead and upgraded his boxes and his bottles, you know, the old ones were the all black uh, boxes and you got the all black cards. Now he's got the all white. And I'm sorry, I think I really like the white over the black with that gold, everything just really pops. And this is actually a lot thicker, in my opinion, than the all black ones. Very, very smooth, high quality cards here. As a thank you, you get in every order that you get. Here it is right here. Always, always well packaged. You make sure you get your shit in one piece. I mean, uh, you put your money into it, you want to make sure you get your shit in one piece. So, just going to jump right into it. Oh, yeah. Well, save that bubble wrapping for later. And then, like I said, all white. With the gold, these are gonna be the 55 mLs. Extract the perform, higher ore concentration, about 30%. Man, the longevity on these things are just, on my skin, at least, all the time. I don't think I've come across, well, maybe there was one that I came across that didn't last too long, but I'm gonna let that sit for a while and then revisit it. But here you go right here, this is, yeah, Smokey's Ember. This is that new release, this is that Inspired by Cal Lee's Love Fest Burning Cherry. <laughs> Man, I cannot wait to get my nose on this because with his last release of Smokey, this right here was the Tom Ford Cherry Smoke, is a cherry bomb. This is actually one of my favorite cherry fragrances right here. So this, you definitely get that cherry. You got some smoke in here as well. And this thing on me has lasted a long time. Time. I mean, until the next day, I still get it on me very strong. I don't know what it is about this fragrance here, but it just it hits different on my skin. So, this is going to be his newest release, Smoke December. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's go ahead and remove this plastic. Like I said, brand, brand new. Oh, look at that. Damn. Silver bottle. Super cap, all metal. Atomizers is new as well. Pressurized. Wow, okay. So in the air, I'm picking up the cherry. It's not as heavy, obviously, as his other release um, with the Tom Ford Cherry Smoke. But you definitely, definitely get some cherry in here. I'm also getting some Perkamon, some Rose, some Patchouli. Wow, this is actually pretty good. Maybe some raspberry in here as well. Wow, wow, okay. Not expecting that, I was expecting it to be heavy on the cherry, but it's definitely not as hairy as its um, last release, Cherry Smoke, but wow. This is actually really, really, really good. Definitely lean spam, from, you know, inspired by the KLE, but this is, I'll actually rock this shit. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy to skin real quick, because in the air, it's really, really nice. So let's go ahead and put it, one spray, pressure atomizer. Ooh, okay, so on my skin, I'm picking up more of the cherry and raspberry. Wow, 
this is nice. This is nice. Definitely picking up on the cherry and the raspberry. Got some, definitely got some maturity in here. Got picking up on some rose. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. I'll definitely rock it. Does lean fam, more fam, but I don't care. I'd rock it. 100% rock it. Wow, this is nice. As it dries down and sits on my skin, I'm definitely not starting to pick up on that smoke, uh, especially on some woods. And the smoke is not too much like the other one. Obviously, the other one's cherry smoke, so you're going to have more of that smoke. But the smoke back here is just a hint of it. But man, it definitely, definitely brings that smokiness to the raspberry and the cherry that's in here. Especially, like I said, I'm starting to pick up on a little bit of some rose, patchouli, tonka bean. Yeah, this is just definitely, definitely freaking nice, man. Let's go ahead and jump right into the notes. So this is... This is nice. This is definitely something I'm going to rock. For sure. Alright, so on the top, you're going to have burning cherry, raspberry, and bergamot. And there's that raspberry I was getting there. Beautiful combination. It's not one over the other. I'm getting both. The cherry and that raspberry together. And then you got that hint of uh, smoke there in the back as it drives down. In the middle, you're going to have that praline helotrope. There goes the damask rose, jasmine, sunbat, with some more floral. And on the base, you're gonna have some uh, Palo Santo, tonka bean, gayak wood, Peru balsam, patchouli, Haitian vetiver. Man, this is good. I gotta say, this is very, very good. I'm definitely gonna be rocking this. If y'all wanna check this out, Brand new release and just came out on Friday. Got myself a bottle. Damn freaking right I did. Because his last release, Smoke of That Cherry Smoke, was my cherry bomb. I'm going to probably say it's going to be my cherry bomb 2.0. Uh, it's just not as heavy on the cherry as the other one. But you still get that cherry, that raspberry, and then you got that hint, hint of smoke. Wow, yeah, this is good. And as more it dries down, I'm picking up more on the florals. Yeah, hell, I rock it for sure. So if you want to go ahead and try it out, make sure you use the code POP20 there at the bottom. I'll make sure I leave everything in the description, the link, the code. Save yourself 20%. You'll also get, um, if you want to try the 10ml, if you don't want to go ahead and get yourself by bottle, you want to go ahead and test the waters out real quick. 10ml, 12.99, POP20, save some money. And there you go. Just rock it, rock it. So this right here is definitely going to be a fall or winter time scent. So I'm probably going to go ahead and rock this tonight since the temperatures have been dropping pretty damn good at night time. So I'm definitely going to get this wear at night. Fall, winter, beautiful. And if you look at the notes on this compared to the OG from KLE, they are identical. So, and I have not smelled the original. Um, so what I'm going to say is this right here, it's just damn good. It's damn good, and I'm pretty sure he's probably taken some of the notes, heightened them up a little bit, because that's just what Barry does. Just takes something that might not last that long and just puts a beast projection on here. The longevity is always great on my skin, always great. So no complaints there with the projection, the longevity of any of his fragrances on my skin, especially on clothes. So this is gonna be my scent of the night, because it's probably be in the 80s now, let it cool down, pop this baby on, and rock this bad boy to work. Definitely gonna be my scent tonight. Check it out, link's gonna be down there in the description. Make sure you use the code too, save yourself some money, because I love saving money. And that's it for today, man. Scent of the night, Smoke December, brand new release. Check it out, and remember, make sure you stay fresh, you stay popping until next one. Peace out. Pop sets on the rise, hit that like button, join us, subscribe.